Hey everyone, this is Mr. Taylor here, and I am going to go over the Schoology portion for orientation. And this is going to be a brief overview of just joining classes and navigating through Schoology. Okay, so let's first start off by going to Schoology. And you're going to want to make sure that you always, always, always have AUHSD before Schoology.com. If you go to just Schoology.com, uh, it will not let you log in with your credentials, meaning your password and email, because there's tons and tons of different districts that are using Schoology, and you need to identify that you are part of the AUHSD Schoology. So go to auhsdschoology.com, and then you'll be prompted with this window, okay? And then you're going to want to make sure you put your school email, and that's going to be always your... ID, your school ID number at student.auhsd.us. Okay. And then your password is unique and that should have been sent to you in an email along with your school email and information. So you're going to click log in. And then from there, uh, I'll show you the dashboard, but I want to introduce you to, to two classes that are important for every Spartan. Uh, and that is Brookhurst 101. So Brookhurst 101 is going to be a go-to place for anyone looking for information on Schoology, right? How-tos are going to be there. There's going to be lots of videos on uh, turning assignments in. You know, if you have questions, that'd be the first place to go to, right? Um, and this is really just trying to, uh, we created a landing page or landing class for you to help you kind of just get started as we go into this virtual year. So what you're going to do is at the very top of the Schoology, and I'll show you in a second. You're gonna click Courses, and then on the right side, you'll, you'll click My Courses, and then there'll be a blue button that says Join a Course, and it looks just like this, okay? And you're gonna click that, and then a window will pop up that's like this. It says Join a Course, and you need an access code. Now, the access code for Brookhurst 101 is this code right here, okay? It is, oh gosh, is it? 13 digits or 13 letters and, and numbers. So it is XR75-JNF5-XK5ST. Okay, uh, that should not change throughout the year. If it does, I'll make sure to let everyone know. But for now, it is this code. If you put this code in, you will be uh, entered into the Brookhurst 101 class. And right now we already have some how-to videos, so it would be very helpful for you to join and at least kind of uh, get a general sense of how to turn assignments in and so forth. The next class I'm going to bring attention to is Spartan Splash. And this is less of a class. It's more of a community. Okay, It is considered a course, though. So you're going to do the same thing. You're going to go to My cor uh, Courses and then My Courses, and then you're going to click Join a Course. You're going to be prompted with another access code. Okay, and really these are the only two classes that you're going to be asked to enter codes for. Everything else, once you've entered into Schoology, your classes are auto-populated, meaning they're already there, you're already enrolled, and your teacher knows who you are. Okay, Spartan Splash uh, is going to be our community um, class or page where ASB is going to be posting uh, activities on, and so I'll talk about that in a little bit, but this is how you join it. This is the code. Um, it's right here. And I'll make sure to put these codes into the YouTube uh, video uh, description. Okay. So from there, I'm going to go out of here and show you exactly what it looks like for Schoology. So I'm going to log in with my email. You would use your own email. AUHSD.us. Okay. And so I have a different look. Uh, your Schoology will look like this, but I have tons of classes because I'm a teacher and they're all showing up right here. So the first one that we see immediately is this Brookhurst 101, but I wanna make sure that we go to courses, right? You go to my courses and then you gotta click join a course and you gotta put in that code that I showed you just recently. And if you need to go back or at least go down in the window below while this video is playing, they'll, in the description will be the codes for uh, Brookhurst 101 and Spartan Splash. 
Okay. I'm already in this course because I made it. And so I'm going to go ahead and click on Brookhurst 101. And here you're going to see what a class is going to look like. Okay. Every class is going to have this red folder, their FAQs, frequently asked questions, and just some information. So uh, I would definitely read through this, virtual classroom guidelines, things to remember for a virtual meeting, like muting yourself, making sure that you're participating because we do take role off of these meetings, right? We want to make sure that you guys are participating and that you're learning, right? Uh, so make sure that you're participating. Make, make sure you read through some of that. That's very helpful. And then there's tips for parents as well. Also fun activities, right? We want to make sure that you know, you're know you not getting stir crazy like Mr. Taylor, who uh, does not do well uh, sitting behind a desk all day. So I have to get up. I move around. I also eat uh, at my desk just because that's a fun activity for me. Uh, but click through there and find some stuff that you might enjoy. Next is going to be the Schoology how-to videos, right? So connecting Google and Schoology is a very important thing. Most of our work, right, a lot of our work is going to be done through Google, at least with Mr. Taylor's business class, right? Um, I have all my students create a Google Drive, right? Really, Google Drive is created for you, but we, we work through that, and that's where we save everything. It's really great because you can access Google Drive through any computer, right? You just log in through your Google account, and you can work on your homework and classwork there. And that's important because we're going to be turning those assignments in through Schoology, okay? And the next thing would be turning assignments into Schoology. So once you've connected your Google and your Schoology, your assignments, your Google Drive, and those assignments you did will show up in Schoology, and you just got to click a button and click Submit, which is great. And then, um, again, another turning a video in. So sometimes we're not going to be turning any, uh, videos or sorry, turning assignments in through Google Drive. You might just have an assignment that requires you to type into the Schoology window. So there's two different ways of turning assignments in. These are both ways. They both show you from the student point of view. So make sure you watch those videos, guys. Okay. And then how to check your grades. Grades are always important, right? Um, we're working with technology and technology is not reliable, okay? So if you wanna check your grade, you can always go to Gradebook. And right now there's nothing, oh, hey, we got some people in here, nice. Well, there's no assignments because in Brookhurst 101, we're not gonna have assignments really, but you would see your grades and the assignments that you've turned in and the grades your teacher gave you, right? The ultimate decider though in your grade is gonna be your Aries. Okay, the grade that is on your Aries is the grade that is going to be submitted for report cards and progress reports. So you want to make sure that the grade on Aries is the same grade that is on Schoology. Okay, so if you're missing an assignment in Aries, but it's in Schoology, you got to make sure you talk to your teacher. Say, hey, Mr. Taylor, uh, I did this assignment and you gave me a grade and it's not going into Aries, right? Uh, which happened several times this last quarter for uh, a couple of my students. So I just had to make sure that the synchronization between Aries and Schoology was correct. So make sure, right, you're being proactive and uh, watching your grades. So I'm going to go back here, and then there's just a quick welcome uh, uh, discussion. This is what a discussion looks like. Uh, sometimes you can have graded discussions in your class. But go ahead and tell us your name, what school you're coming from, and your favorite comfort food. My comfort food is Del Taco. Um, I'm a, Again, I love food, but um, I know they're not the best tacos, but they're a comfort taco to me. Anyways, so we're going to go ahead, and once you've joined Brookhurst 101, I'm going to ask you to go back and join Spartan Splash. I'm going to scroll down, or at least go to my courses, and I'm going to scroll down and find, right, there's tons of way to navigate towards your class. You can do what I just did by clicking courses and my courses, and it will give you a list, right? And I can find Spartan Splash right here. Or you can just click on the unlimited U, which brings you to your homepage and your course dashboard, right? So you'll see all your courses you're enrolled, and you can scroll down that way. So there's two ways of getting to your class. And here is Spartan Splash. This is a very important thing for Spartans because 
right now uh, we don't have the opportunity to hang out in person. And A is B, right? Our uh, class that drives activities, we can't do assemblies, we can't really do um, dances. And so what we are doing is doing a virtual version of community and engagement. So last year, my Spartans, my ASB uh, leaders had amazing ideas that we got to do through Spartan Splash. We did, uh, you know, days with Roblox where everyone got into the same uh, server. We, you know, bought private servers for you guys and we played Roblox together. Uh, we do school-wide cahoots. We do puzzles. We do design contests. Last year, uh, Spartans designed the end of the year t-shirts, right? So one t-shirt was designed by ASB and then one t-shirt was designed by a student. And we will definitely do that this year. Um, there's tons of things like that where you can engage and we'll throw birthdays out here. You know, just a lot of positivity and feeling like you are not at home, right? The idea is that you are still connecting, you're still building relationships with people from school and that you are part of a, a family and that's the Spartan family, right? Uh, so all of that will be here right now. We just have a little welcome message. And so it says, let's go 2020, 21 Spartans. And I dropped in the end of the year video from Brookhurst last year. And this is a solid 19 minutes. So, um, but it does go through everything. Like we have dances in here. We have assemblies in here. We have the lunch activities that we had so much fun doing. We've got sports. We've got all these things that we were able to do last year. So take a look. It's pretty fun to watch. And then if you're here, just tell us how your summer's going. Write something that's positive, encouraging. Tell me you're excited. Okay. Uh, and then that is what Spartan Splash is for, right? Um, if you ever want to know what's going on, maybe check here because we do do announcements. We let you know what's going on. And then also we do a lot of raffles. So last year, by participating into these activities, right, you could win gift cards, right? There were several times where we gave away $100 gift cards. So if you happen to participate, I keep your name on a list. And then on Fridays, we do a raffle. So um, that's just for participating. And that raffle is actually driven directly through donations. So um, if you or a parent watching this and you think, oh, I'd really love to help out with this, uh, we'll be throwing out an email and a video talking about donations, and we would love to have your support because those donations, especially with the gift cards, go directly to the students and that positivity and that engagement during this virtual time. With that being said, if you have questions, right, a, a great place to look for if you're having technical difficulties is a help center. So if you click here, uh, you can do that. Also, your teachers are a great resource. Always just maybe send an email to them, send a message uh, through Schoology, right? You can send messages by clicking here. Um, but we're going to learn a lot about this in the first couple days and weeks of, of school. There's going to be specific lessons for turning assignments in and netiquette. So I just want to broadly go over this and make sure that you guys are part of the Spartan Splash and the... Um, Brookhurst 101 classes. So as, as long as you're in those, you'll be hearing about fun activities and announcements from us, okay? Um, also, we do submit the links for the weekly video announcements that are done by TV and studio production into the Spartan Splash. So that is another way to stay connected. With that being said, I am so excited. Oh, I might as well do this because I know this is an important thing. First day of school, guys, you're going to want to log in into your courses and figure out which class is your first class. Once you know what your first period is, you're going to enter the class. So let's just say Spartan Splash is your first period. And you're going to go down to conferences. Conferences is where all of your face-to-face -face interactions will be with your teachers and classmates. Okay. Uh, there is no new conference right now, but if I click a new conference, we'll just say test. We'll create it. And usually they'll say a start time, like maybe Monday at 8.20 in the morning. And I'll go ahead and click that conference. And that conference is going to look like this. Uh, and you want to make sure that you have your microphone on. Don't do listen only because then you will not be able to turn a mic on and talk to your teacher at all. So always make sure you click 
microphone. I'm going to allow that. It's going to connect. Oh, there we go. Get the echo going on. All right. I'm the only one here. But if you want to make sure you're muting yourself, then you just go back down here and mute. Okay. Uh, so make sure that you know how to get into conferences. That is exactly how you do it. And that is how you're going to meet your teacher on day, teachers on day one. All right. Have a great day, guys. And I hope to see you in the next week.